Hi, I'm Mel's back friend, and this is my, oh, sorry, it's my cat. This is my fifth episode of C++ Prior Support. So I'm kind of uh, changing the plans for this series. I mean, I think there might still only be seven episodes of it, meaning this might still be episode in the second half of the series. But today I wanted to show off a school homebrew app I made. You see the name of it? It's called Eevee. So you see, don't talk in the video. So here's my save, and yeah, you see a deck save Pokemon here because it's modded. I have mods on my save file. But yeah, basically this is a Pokemon Home alternative. Like, one thing worth noting though, is that to refresh the UI, you have to save your files and then close and reopen the program. The UI does not refresh itself. That's one bug with the program currently. Also, please don't try to have more than one. Please don't try to have more than one save open at a time. I don't think it's gonna go well because of how I programmed it. But this is a pretty big accomplishment for me, especially because at first I wasn't used to lambdas that w that much, but now I'm pretty used to lambdas. Okay, that volume is way too high. You see, it was transferred to the bank. Like, also another thing worth knowing is that the only way to move and not copy, because you saw that it's a copy and not move, is it is like to copy and then remove. The only way you can remove is by pasting an empty space onto it. Now we go back into Eevee. Let's put Pikachu back in there. Now if you're wondering why it says weird text for like the buttons that aren't custom actions. That's because there, the two libraries I used both had code for translations and it was kind of conflicting in a way and so I had to exclude one of them to include the other. without completely rewriting one of them, which I was too lazy to do. That's why text looks weird. Oh, and yeah, you can download this from GitHub. I'll put a link in the description. Look, you see, back in the box.
And now, you want to hear the origin behind the name? Okay, so it's called Evie because of something kind of funny my brother once said. Oh, and I forgot. Uh, wait, I'll mention this after. So, one kind of funny thing my brother said. He said that in. What game was that? Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The thing it shows that's like telling you to shake the Joy-Con. You know, the thing it shows when it tells you to shake the Joy-Con to get into the thing where you play with Eevee. He literally said it looked like Eevee covering his penis with the Joy-Con. He literally said that. You know, why don't I even show that this works transferring between saves? You know, I'm just going to name this back up something funny. This is kind of a reference to something my computer science teacher keeps on talking about. They keep on, like giving variables joke names and things like that. At one time he told us to put text in a string that was blabacata because you need to think of something that had a lot of A's in it. So he thought blabacata. I'll show you it even works when transferring between saves. Because notice that I transferred from PSBT devs save to tests save. Like, you know, the two users. A user called PSBT dev and a user called test. I just made that user test the program, by the way. Well, test is the user I made just to test the program. Oh yeah, I forgot I didn't unlock the box link yet in this save. Because like I said, I made the user and the save just to test the program. See, I haven't unlocked the box link yet, so I have to go to the Pokemon Center. There it is, you see, can you even transfer between saves. This program is amazing. And there are amazing features planned for this program as well. Like, I'm actually planning on implementing an editing feature. So that way it's no longer just a bank. And also has editing features. Well, bank slash cloning utility, because you can also clone with it. So yeah, eventually it's going to be no longer just a bank slash cloning utility, and there's also going to be editing in it. And also I'm thinking of adding a less dumb way to... Like a smarter way to... To delete a Pokemon. I'm thinking of like adding a smarter way to do that. 
And also adding a way to extract a Pokemon's entry as a PK8 file. Although one important thing worth noting about this is that it only supports Sword and Shield right now. It does not support Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. It only supports Sword and Shield. Mm, anything else I wanted to say? Oh yeah, like I can't remember before if I said or not, but I'll put a link in the description. Don't talk while I make videos. Okay, as I was saying. But I got rudely interrupted. I'll put a link to download this program in the description. This is Mel's Back's friend signing off.